Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Virgo friends and friends of Virgo. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Virgo, um, thank you for your patience, of course, and getting these signs back up and running here. I do appreciate it. Looking at your energy here in meditation prior, um, and then I do want to get into some oracle cards that were drawn and the tarot. <clears throat> So I had actually meditated on this message a little while ago, both you and Leo. I um, took a little bit of a break in getting some of these signs up with uh, my own health and with getting some personal readings caught up. So thank you guys. And coming back to this message, because it was left kind of fragmented, and um, that could be a part of the message that's coming through too. Some of you may be feeling a bit fragmented. And the main message that's coming through here does sort of seem to be surrounding something to do with love, whether that is romantic love um, or familial something's been lost, there's some pain, okay? So what came through first was um, alejate, actually, which is um, uh, Spanish for um, like go away or move away. Um, I think of the song Alejate by Josh Groban. That's kind of what popped through was the title of that song. So I looked it up. It's like, get away, uh, move aside, get away from me in, in regards to like heartbreak. Uh, and that song is actually about kind of about that too. Um, telling somebody to move aside, like there is no love here anymore kind of thing. Um, what came through after that though as well was never have I felt so much love in my soul. Um, so I am very much getting this vibe, especially with the Oracle cards that came through that there is some pain going on for some of you surrounding some love that had to shift, had to transition. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but we'll get into the message. So next I was shown, um, a yin yang sign and the, uh, black is the yin. So it was like, uh, this is swirling around and then the blackness of the yin portion, like sunk down. So we were pulled down into the yin, which is, um, I mean, it is kind of that shadow, that, that dark, I would, the light would be kind of expanding in the other direction. Um, there's something about receiving or, or be, being in that divine feminine, um, but something about receiving. And if there is pain here, uh, I am kind of being drawn to this. Um, there's some pain in the heart where um, receiving at all, like in this process of healing the divine feminine, right, within all of us, that's kind of the biggest crux of, of things is um, being open to receiving. A lot of us are really good at giving, but when it comes to receiving, um, we struggle with that for many different reasons. So um, let's get into the oracle cards that were pulled here, and then we'll move further into the message. So the bridge is what came out here for your um, archetype oracle card. And the bridge talks about connection is what was really standing out here. Um, like saying yes to connection and working to step away from trying to force things maybe that don't need to be connected or um, aren't for the highest good to be connected. Um, and conversely, like not just stepping aside from connection because um, there's fear, because there's pain there. So um, with the Oracle cards too, like I said, I feel like we're diving really deep into love here. Somebody's hurting. So uh, Blue Angel Oracle card is what I was drawn, or deck is what I was drawn to pull next for you guys. And you actually had two cards come out here. I'm going to read both these from the book. So the first one here is A Night on Earth. A Night on Earth. So Night on Earth is a magical new beginning. This card symbolizes the start of something new. A magical experience unfolds to allow you to move forward safely with confidence. The path is clear and nothing can stop you now except your own negative thoughts. Let go of any old ways of thinking and trust. Your future will not be the same as the past. Life is full of possibilities. Believe and it shall be so. Inside you, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge. Live through this knowing and life will seem like an endless blessing. You deserve to be and have all that your heart desires. And this one has the Walt Whitman quote, keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Um, whereas I'm not a proponent to like ignore the shadow, what I'm getting from that, especially with the yin yang in meditation, um, there is something that is new that's starting here. And with this, uh, the past, 
your future will not be the same as the past. That stands out to me here. Um, I feel like the Alejate in meditation, this idea of like, go away, this is pain. This is heartbreak that's happened in the past, uh, maybe even a, a while ago. But it's resurfacing now. Maybe you're in a situation where you are engaging in new connections. You're gauging, engaging in love. Maybe you're engaged. <laughs> Um, and it feels like this is coming up to be healed, okay? So the last card that came through here, and of course, you have sadness. So sadness here in this book, this deck, is love. <laughs> there may be some sadness at present, but this is also a sacred time. Reflect on that which really matters to you and cherish and treasure all that is meaningful in your life. In sorrow, there is also great beauty, for your sadness stems from a profound love built of precious memories that live forever in your heart and the hearts of those you love. Know that nothing truly ends, for you and everyone you love are eternal. <clears throat> Life will continuously unfold, change, and transform, but it will never cease. Every ending is also a beginning in life's eternal wheel. Life is one continuous cycle. All the events of your life and all those who play a role in it are part of you forever. So life is an eternal spirit with no beginning or end. All is an ocean of light, a great sea of love. All is one. We are one, my immortal beloved. So <clears throat> let's move into tarot, you guys. I feel like the message is pretty clear. Like I said, we're looking at um, some pain, residual pain, trauma from something that has been lost in the past, but you're being told, you're being reminded that this isn't the past. This is actually something that's new. And if there is fear and pain that's coming forward, it is to be um, uh, illuminated so that you can heal it, okay? So we're gonna start here with the Phantasma tarot deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Virgo? And huge shout out to my channel members. As always, you guys, thank you for your love and support. If you are interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a join button right next to the subscribe. Hit subscribe down there if you haven't yet. There will also be a link there in the description of this video. I do have personal readings available currently. If you want to check out my website, there's a link in the description of the video as well. Let's get into this. So a page of cups here to start. This is your um, uh, hopes and dreams, okay? So page of cups being in your hopes. I feel like this is right on par here. We're talking about love. This can be an offer of love. This may be uh, somebody has an offer for you. You may have an offer for somebody else. But there are also, there's also notes in here of like getting overwhelmed with emotions, specifically surrounding new love. So what I'm getting from this as far as a hope is for some of you, you are hoping there is a situation where you find new love is budding. Uh, maybe you have an offer for someone, but you're feeling fear because of something that's happened in the past. Um, you're feeling afraid to say yes to a connection here. Um, you're hoping to overcome these overwhelming emotions. Let's keep going. So the next deck we're going to use here is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Virgo, please? Additional messages. And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. You're a powerful co-creator here, and please don't forget that. Feel free to check out your rising moon, Venus. Any other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of your story at this time? So five of pentacles here at the bottom. Um, this is your fear aversion. Um, you can see already with the, the picture here, it's this kind of feeling of like love lost. Five of Pentacles is a feeling of abandonment. It's uh, maybe being left out in the cold. So this is your fear aversion. There is a fear here, kind of tying into the overwhelming emotions of the Page of Cups, of being left out in the cold. I do, I'm getting this feeling that there are a lot of you, whoever this message is for, where you're being presented a new opportunity for connection. And that doesn't have to just be romantic love, could be friend, friendship. Um, but what you're feeling are echoes from the past where maybe you were taken advantage of. Um, there was some sort of harm or pain that happened because of love. Um, and I'm getting that this is not the same situation, although that makes it really difficult to be open to... Um, trying something again that ended up leaving you wounded in the past, right? This is where like true courage and bravery, I feel like come into play. Okay, 
So let's get into your message here. Um, to start, general, you have three of wands. So three of wands here, and I love this deck. I'm going to hold the cards up a little bit more so you guys can see. Three of wands here is about expansion. Um, your ship coming in, help arriving at exactly the right time. I feel like you guys are, are strongly being supported in this period to work through whatever has happened in the past, to heal from that. Because um, although, you know, you didn't deserve that pain or harm, <clears throat> you certainly deserve to be in the warmth of love. And that's what I'm getting is like the main, the main part of this message is we're moving Virgo back into a place where they feel comfortable opening up their heart again, whether this is family, friend, or romantic, okay? Um, I very much get this like, I don't know if he's a, a weasel or a stout, little mini dragon or something. I just get this like, I'm getting, um, what is that song from Fievel? Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight. <laughs> this individual is searching. It's like they're sending out their vibration and their song searching for their match. So I feel like we're right on, right on point here, okay, Virgo? Um, I don't know, I almost went to shuffle that again. The next card coming in here, you have Four of Cups. To clarify the Three of Wands. Um... Connecting it to the page of cups here too, that was a part of your hopes. That feeling of overwhelm with the emotions. The four of cups is essentially like um, an offer is coming in, okay? A divine offer of some sort. This could be a person. I'm very strongly getting a, a friend, a lover, whatever this is. Um, maybe an opportunity to reconnect with somebody from the past where there has been pain for some of you. I don't feel like that's all of you. But uh, we can miss this offer if we are too uh, pessimistic, if we're too lazy, if we're too centrally focused. And it's important to have us in focus, just as it is to have a nice balanced focus of other things that are in our life. So that's essentially what the Four of Cups is reminding us is that something's coming in and you need to be um, not like hyper focused on trying to see what it is or where it is, but just making sure that you're not too absorbed in one thing or you may miss whatever this offer is that's coming through. And I do feel like for some of you, that offer, that opportunity is a chance to, to really heal from something that happened um, in, the, in the past. And I don't feel like this is to heal with maybe that person who hurt you for all of you. For some of you, I kind of get that vibe. Um, take what resonates, okay, for your situation. So good stuff coming through here. I <laughs> um, actually like to see this. So you have the hermit. Which is your card? Virgo, my Virgo friends. So Hermit is all about finding the truth within, really. It is the spiritual um, process of evolving, of realizing just how much power we do truly have or how much truth we do already contain by what we can access inside of ourselves. Because inside of us is also connected to outside, right? As above, so below. This being your card as well, I feel like you guys are being highlighted heavily in this in this reading. This feels um, maybe not even like it's a, a moment of destiny or fate, you know, something that you plan to heal from in this lifetime. But what is coming through is that this is a major opportunity. Like God, universe, you, the divine within yourself has been requesting this form of healing and the power that comes with that. And that is being heard, is what I'm getting. Your higher self is encouraging here, like, you're being heard. Hey. So being in your good stuff here with you, I love that. And it's a little peacock here, too. I feel like you guys are working towards, um, well, it might be, is it a peahen? Working towards getting your plumage back is kind of the vibe that I'm getting there. Yay. Yay, Virgo, yay. Uh, so Mother of Cups comes through here too. This I feel very much connected to the protective portion of the Mother of Cups, Queen of Cups. She's intuitive. She is healing, loving. Um, she's about connection as well. There's a note of like protecting the emotions too. This can be overprotective. So I feel like this is in combination to the Four of Cups here too. There's a request to not close yourself off completely. 1441 on the timer. To remain open in some ways, not like, you know, not to throw yourself into the foray, so to speak. If you're feeling guarded, like take things slowly, the request is to 
um, to start thinking about opening up, right? To not make yourself an island for the rest of your life because it was never meant to be that way. And I feel like you're being supported in that action right now. Maybe you've struggled with that in the past, opening up or not being so protective over your inner world. Okay, let's keep going. So what's in the dark or what you may not see coming here? You have seven of wands. I feel like this is your, this is definitely attached to like your courage, the way that you feel about yourself or how you can navigate well through this, um, I must said community. Maybe some of you, maybe some of you were hurt by your community too. Because this can feel like being attacked from all angles as well. Um, being in what you don't see coming in this situation. Um, I mentioned that earlier, like courage and bravery in the meditation portion. What you don't see here is the amount of courage and bravery that you actually have inside of yourself. And this is a part of the good stuff that's coming through here too. You're tapping into this inner reserve, this inner strength, this inner divinity, this divinity that is yours. I've mentioned it in readings in the past, but like our, our divinity is our ability to triumph over human experience, to triumph over our own sorrow and pain. That is, that is what makes us divine. So I feel like you guys are really like bringing that into your situation here. And I love to see that. I love it. So uh, next here, you guys have Daughter of Cups. That's a lot of cups, you guys. A lot of emotions going on right now. Daughter of Cups in uh, what's hidden or what you don't see coming. So this is a uh, page of cups. Again, you had this in your hope, hopes and dreams, that feeling of not wanting to be overwhelmed, not wanting to be overtaken by the emotions that are coming through, connected to a new love or a love offer. So what you don't see coming, I feel like in this situation is that love offer. Maybe something's come up, a new relationship, um, coworker, new friends in your group, someone's brought somebody around that's new. Um, I kind of get this vibe of like on the surface, maybe you don't see that there is this connection potential here, but what you feel is like maybe even threatened. Something is being triggered from this new individual and you may not even know what it is quite yet, but because you're so good at going inside, right? With the hermit you will see this very clearly soon. Um, so I feel like, yeah, this could be your like four of cups opportunity that's coming through, but it doesn't look like it is what I'm getting. If it is, if it's triggering something from the past, um, I'm just getting this vibe of like, don't instantly throw it away. Okay. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water, so to speak. Um, maybe give something some time to see what it is. Why are you responding in the ways that you're responding? What is it that's being activated inside of yourself? Because, um, I mean, in reality, nobody can make us feel any sort of way, right? <laughs> it is all permission-based, really. Um, and I'm stepping outside of like extreme trauma, you guys. That's not something on the regular that, that most people experience. So that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking about like if somebody says, you know, you made me feel embarrassed or you made me feel upset. Those kinds of experiences our us there it's us giving ourselves permission to feel a certain way it's not possible for somebody else to make us feel a certain way i think you understand what i'm saying um so that's kind of what's coming through here is like is to check what's going on in your interior realm why is why are you allowing somebody why are you giving somebody permission to make you feel a certain way what is it illuminating inside of yourself that needs to be seen that you're being asked to take courage to, to examine right now, okay? So your difficulty or obstacle challenge at this time, you have nine of wands. Um, so I do kind of get, nine of wands is like the, the wounded warrior. Um, resiliency is something that comes through here. So this is, a uh, the nine of wands is about like, keep going, you're almost there to success. It may not be here right this second, but it's coming. What you're building and what you're protecting is worth it. So I'm drawn back to additional portions in the message here of that like protection. Your obstacle right now is maybe feeling a little too guarded. What you are building, you, is absolutely worth it always. 
but I am getting this message that's coming through of um, maybe think about opening up a little bit. Find out if this is you, what's being triggered inside of you and why. Examine that. Have the bravery and courage. I'm seeing the, the yin side of the yin yang again dropping down. Um, drop down in there with it. Drop right on down into your shadow and see what is what is going on truly. Okay. So next here we have three of pentacles that comes through as your obstacle or challenge. This is success in working with others. Connecting this back to the message here too. It does feel, for some of you, I get kind of uh, more of like a coworker feel coming through. You may, you may uh, meet somebody in a working sense. And if that's the case, I kind of get, not that I'm encouraging shitting where you eat, like, you know, Love blossoms where it does, but I kind of get this vibe of like besties, okay? Um, somebody that maybe you felt triggered by or or activated in the beginning is actually someone who is like a soulmate. <laughs> um, and that triggering, that whole intention is to help show you where you um, can heal, where you can succeed in working with others. Having somebody around you, like that's what we, we heal in relationships. We learn, we grow because of connection, because of relationships. So say yes to the connection, all right? And this doesn't like, use your intuition, like I said, if this message applies to you or not, because there are going to be some people that you do need to protect yourself from. But um, what I'm getting in this is uh, always choose love. And that starts with like courage and bravery inside of you to try again or to start something again that may have hurt you in the past. Like don't, redo the same details of course learn from it but don't let somebody who's hurt you in the past cause you to completely excise yourself from access to love that's not fair that's not fair to you that's not fair to others who love you okay so uh last piece here we're gonna do animal spirit oracle messages and then i'm gonna move into an extended reading here Go a little bit further, we'll look at um, messages from your higher self directly, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is currently being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. So what do we have here for Virgo, please, spirit? This is the wild unknown animal, animal spirit oracle. 22-22 on the timer there. Ooh, elephant. <laughs> well, that's exciting. So, okay, cool. So Elephant here, um, the book connects this energy to Ganesh or Ganesha. And um, Ganesh is um, an ancient Indian god, goddess, that is the obliterator of obstacles. So one would typically think like with an obstacle being obliterated, um, something is being moved out of your way, right? Sometimes though, something is placed in your way as a way of make or getting something else out of your way, like as a form of diverting. So um, connecting to what's going on in the reading here, I do feel like this is an optimal time with the four of cups coming through this offer. This is an optimal time to heal something that has been affecting you for a good deal of time. Something that was never meant to have such a, a deep hold on you, okay? Ganesh is coming through here. The elephant is coming through to help you obliterate this block. To not be so overwhelmed with the emotions that come through involving love, friendship, family, or otherwise romantic. Okay. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in the general. If this is where I lead you, leave you, lead you. If this is where I leave you, it was great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you want to join the extended, I do have links in the description. Again, I have personal readings open if you want to check out my website there in the description as well. As always, I do accept tips or donations. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in there. Also, thank you guys so, so much to those who do support the channel in that way. It goes a very long way, so thank you. Um, please take care, good care of yourself, okay, Virgo? It does feel like this is a little bit of a crunchy time, and I want you to uh, learn to love yourself through this and to connect with love again. I know you guys can do it, okay? Please like, share, comment, subscribe, of course. We'll see you all soon. Be well.